Mm, interesting, interesting. So we've had a sh- the last four hours or so for the Asian session into the London session, we've had this um, strong push to the upside. Um, we haven't seen price break in 89.30 for, for quite some time now. Maybe we could look for a 15 minute, one minute to candle theory sell. Let's see how 15 minute closes. Current 4H has just created a top wick and now is flipping bearish. We're coming off at the back of a strong push to the upside. So the idea is from a behavioral perspective, if the sentiment is going to continue, I mean, granted we're on a four hour time frame, so it could happen anytime in the next four hours. But granted, if the volume is depleting, um, uh, sorry, if the volume is going to continue to push bullish, then the idea would be that we will continue to push higher. But at this moment in time, we are not. So from a behavioral perspective, I'm observing exactly that, yes. From a behavioral perspective, I'm observing that the bullish momentum is showing signs of depletion, which is a start to build in the trade idea here. Um, of course, we are only 10 minutes into the U4H candle open. So we're going to give it five more minutes to see how this next candle closes. If we get a nice strong bearish close, we potentially could look for maybe a two candle theory trade from a 15 minute, one minute perspective. 4H will be bearish and um, the current 15 minute would have closed bearish in anticipation for the next candle to go bearish. Uh, gold is off the list today. If you have a pair you want me to look at, let me know. Or if you have any trades, send them also. Um, right now we're seeing opposite correlation with pound JPY and the dollar, uh, pound JPY and pound USD. So this is going bullish, this is going bearish. So if this is going to go bearish, this should go bullish. And if this is going uh, bullish, then technically this should go bearish, right? In theory from what we've seen so far. So let me put this at the 15 minute time frame and take a good look at this as we was on the five minute see what we have here and euro yen will be the confluence for that depletion in that yen uh that that yen weakness so 15 minutes over here that's that so let me let dubbers in the group as sorry guys see with this gold trade right if i know that the development of the candle is wick first then flip then continuation what's happening here forex.com right then what i want to what i want to be doing is getting into the trade around this area from a 15 minute perspective i mean we could get into this trade a lot sooner on the five minute or even one minute but this is where i'm looking to get into the trade closest to the area where i'm seeing price reject first signs of price creating that bottom wick and flipping Good stop loss size low here with a decent range back to the point where I know price is going to react from. This is how I want to be taking my, every single trade I take. Because remember, the idea that price is going bullish is not current price action. Well, okay, it, it is current price action, depending on how you're trading actually. But let's say the idea was previous candle closed bullish, next candle will be bullish then the ideas already come from the previous candle. So my job is simply just to look for the first sign of evidence that supports the idea, which is price respecting an area, creating a rejection, showing a depletion in that bearish sentiment, bullish sentiment kicking in. Um, new 4H candle created bottom wick, price now flipping bullish. Everything that I need to support the idea that was the previous candles closed is happening here. Oh, sorry, here and here. So I'm not looking for no break and retest, no breakout, no comeback for double bottom, double, triple top, whatever you want to call it, triple bottom. This is the, f- the first signs. This is supporting evidence. The sooner I get in, the better, right? So this is how I trade. If you're swing trading, then, you know, it's all different. Right? You might be looking for a break, retest, continuation, but that's not my forte. But it's not my forte because I don't like it. Could be my forte, but I don't like it. Right, I'm I'm still happy to to continue to look for um, 
for the idea of the cells on this if we continue to reject this area guys um so the, the next fire this next 15 minute candle close will be a determining factor i'm looking at evidence previous to the left where prices failed to break that's cool um previous current candle is bullish um so we can't uh, ignore that we might have a huge spike to the upside in that case and um, then albin currently in his trade is in a good position to target some of these highs and i think it's a great idea period but if we don't and we reject this because i'm focusing on gj right now this morning and we start seeing a bearish candle close i will i may given the evidence from the 15 minute one minute perspective look for a sell right now the markets is not supporting the idea for sales because we're seeing a spike in 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 the pound in the euro uh, which goes against the idea of the yen being strong but at the moment it looks very impulsive and the sustainability of that movement isn't looking looking great but like i said it could just fly up um so then it would look great then but at the moment it's not looking great so supporting the idea um so we'll see what happens in the next five in the, in this candle close if not the next 15 minute close and continue with that again i'm creating the idea in my head of what is going to happen actually of what i want to happen never what is going to happen what i want to happen and if it happens then i have nothing to complain about right i'll have full confidence in the trade idea and i'll take it i want to be the one that influences the decision to get into the trade not the markets so i'm continuing to remind myself this is what i'm looking for this is what i'm looking for this is what i'm looking for and stick to it and if it happens it's almost like the penny drop right my lucky day so then when i take the trade regardless of the result i have <clears throat> I'll have nothing to complain about because that's what I was looking for. That's what happened. And now I can accept the result. I will see if we have a behavioral shift. That is just too far. Um, I'll see if we get a behavioral shift around 89, 30, 31 area, then potentially look for a wick entry around here i guess the stop loss is going to be much safer above this high um but we are trading into a strong well we're not strong we're trading into a 4h bullish candle but i still don't believe it's going up from the rejections that we're getting and the previous candle has closed bearish let's see let's see how this develops i wanted to see a top whip be created on the current 15 minute candle and absolutely fail for a continuation bearish which has not happened the trade idea invalid as of now and that 4h bullish sentiment has has truly kicked in so i think the idea for gj buys is now over for me because price is not doing what i wanted it to do it started but it's not it's not doing what i wanted it to do and now in actual fact as we are pushing bullish there is nothing <clears throat> at this moment in time that we can believe other than the fact that it's going to continue to push bullish bare minimum back to 89 40 along with albin's analysis and for the most of you as well my next trade idea will either come from that 89 40 to 42 area unless we have a major wick on this current 15 minute candle with a bearish flip uh, or just a major wick but as of now i'm not i'm not i'm not stuck on this idea i support i support the idea of it continuing bullish back to this level just i don't have a trade the sentiment in the market is still or is now continuing to to align and show a weakness in in the yen this is an interesting sell idea here um to be honest with you the fact that we're still seeing that weakness in in the dollar from a two kind of three perspective it leads back to the lows here so here i'll show you what i was kind of looking for on the on gj 
right? Is price close bearish, okay? Then creates that top wick. Doesn't maintains that top wick with certainty and then look for that price to flip uh oh the range on this is stupid the range on this is ridiculous <clears throat> right and then the idea would be something like this so just forget it doesn't matter about the result of the trade okay forget about the result of the trade what's more important is the process that you enter the trade so previous candle closed bearish okay new 50 minute candle opens create the top wick you see that the sustainability of that bearish sentiment is very strong because we don't have any huge spikes to the upside, okay? And then the development of the candle is the candle creates a top wick and flips bearish. The idea that it'll continue bearish. At this point in time, it doesn't matter where it goes, but this, this is the idea. We wanted that on GJ here, where this candle closes bearish, creates that top wick and then flips and then continues bearish. But if you see here from a one minute perspective, when that candle closed, it didn't create that top wick and, and maintain that sentiment. You can see it spiked to the upside. So at the moment, the market from a behavioral perspective, this is not from a behavioral perspective, is showing that the bearish sentiment is not strong enough for the idea that it will continue bearish. Okay, there's a huge surge of buying pressure which obviously is something you want to avoid majorly. You always want to see some sort of sustainability in the direction of where, uh, in the direction that you believe the market is going, which is something like this. I, I did like the idea of the sales here. Uh, always hindsight sounds great. The only reason I didn't pursue the sales on Goldilocks is because if I'm looking for that sell, Look at the look at the range on the four hour. Look how much that four hour candle has retraced, right? To sell it on the fifteen minute time frame, it looks great from a two candle from a two candle theory perspective. Plus, we also have kind of some supporting evidence here, um, and we did have supporting evidence here until this flight flew up, right? But the idea of that push that had initially happened from six o'clock is now depleting, which is just standard in any candle development. Okay. You either have a depletion or you have sustainability. So depletion is price pushes and depletes. And on gold, if you know gold well, you will know this happens all the time. Just look at the wicks, right? So that supports the idea of the sales as well. The only thing is, look where my cursor is if I'm looking to sell this. I've lost the whole range of that depletion from here to here. So I'd much prefer price to come higher into this area again. So then if I do look for that sell, then I have that much range to take advantage of. Not this much range and lose that range. Does this make sense, guys? I'm always wanting to get in sooner rather than later with the idea so the idea has developed so if we push back into this area i will look for sales again on gold especially if we start rejecting as well here on gu and you should suspect actually thinking about this uj and US dollar has been strong slash weak. Yen has been strong slash weak. I mean, if you're studying the content and you know you know enough about the markets, when you have two weak pairs or two two weak currencies or two strong currencies coming together, you usually don't have a directional bias in the markets. This may just be the one. Current 4H candle has pushed strong bullish. I don't believe that it's pushed bullish as much as it it can do okay let me pop this in here just as an intermediate level of rejection i don't believe it's pushed as much as it needs to um or can do not needs to can do 
So if I get supporting evidence from GU of a depletion of this push, then I will look for a depletion of this push to the upside as well. With the idea that prices failed to break above, we've once seen bearish sentiment from this area. So we know there is selling pressure here. And I will look to sell gold, given the evidence. And on this occasion, I, I will not wait for a fifth. I'm feeling like I don't want to wait for a 15 minute candle close for a two candle theory trade. I will just trade based on a one candle theory idea because we've had rejection from this area previous to so this selling pressure. The range of the 4H candle is pushing strong. The only reason I believe this can continue to push bullish is based on the news catalyst because of the range and we're pushing into a previous rejection area. Okay. If I, so I don't want to wait for a candle close. I believe that price can reject this area. So from a one minute perspective, if I see evidence of that depletion, so early signs of behavior showing that it's failing to break above. We get a bearish close, then I'm going to look for a sell. And the range that I'm looking for is a small range, potentially back down to, to these lows. But I do want price to get into the 2021 area, 20 to 20 to 2021 area as much as possible, because I believe that this is the safest place for my stop loss to be above this high. Okay. Why price hasn't broken this on this session? Um, and this is the highest point of that current 4H candle, meaning that if it's going to show signs of rejection, I don't believe it will make a new high. If it's created its current high and I get a better range back down to the low. So what I want to start seeing here from this area is, is a depletion of, of this push. Okay. So. I don't want immediate reaction from this level. Uh, I don't want a drastic reaction from this level. I want a sustained reaction from this level. Okay, so I want to see price create and what we have seen to the left previous. Like this candle reject, next candle open and, and push bearish. Or get an indecision. So then what I can look for here in the ideal situation is a sell stop opportunity in and around this area i mean we're pushing higher right now so i could potentially look for the sell stop higher um as well to give me a better range but the idea is just to look for an area where i can look for a potential sell stop opportunity um in anticipation for price to deplete this bullish sentiment the current 4h candle ha in my opinion has pushed the range into a wick rejection area and we've reacted from this area before where we know they're selling pressure. This is all behavior and this is what I'm looking for. So in an opportunity like this, if we continue to get the evidence, I will look for a sell on the break of this low. Okay. In anticipation for price to continue down, potentially have a slightly, slightly bigger stop loss here just to make sure I'll cover that wick and target this low. I don't have a great range, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, on this one so my idea is if we start to to reject this area and we break below around 20 20 64 please do not put your house more do not put your mortgage on this trade because it can lose and just like any other trade but i like this idea of price breaking this low of course if we start spiking up and i see this 15 minute candle spiking up it just even one spike um then i would have bought the idea because i need price to do what i need it to do uh 20 20 64 3 uh have we got the range on the 4 h I could get a better entry on this 
if I'm honest with you, I could start thinking about the idea of an entry in and around here. But we're smashing through this, guys. Okay, I am cancelling my self stop. All right, gold idea over. The impulse of this 15 minute candle is huge. And I may take a stab at the retracement of this. <clears throat> like GJ has done. Strong bullish candle into an area where price is rejected previously. Same idea on the previous gold idea. Uh, five minutes left of the 15 minute. You see how this, this closes with the idea of the next candle being bearish. Uh, if I had to go break even because I can't risk this trade after price reached the major level, if the price wants to continue up, good. If not, it is what it is. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's the right attitude, bro. You shouldn't give a shit about... Listen, the, the most important trade is, is the next trade, not this one. Or the one you, you've just taken. You just can't be, you can't be focused on this, uh, this trade, guys. Win or lose. You just can't. You don't, you don't, you made, you made the right decision to get into the trade. You made the right decision to manage the trade. And now you move on to the next trade. Right. This would be my final trade idea for the day, guys. If, 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 if. We are getting that rejection already. I want to sell from here, but I um, just want a little bit more of an opportunity to look for a break of a low. So something like this is good. And now I just need support and evidence with this candle closing in and around this area in anticipation for the next candle to be bearish. A stupidly large. 15 minute in, um, candle that exceeds the range of the previous candles. 4H candle is very extended into a major wick rejection area. And <clears throat> if we can start showing signs of the bullish sentiment depleting at this high, um, at this high, then that will support the behavioral bias. And then it, the new 15 minute candle opens to create a top wick and flips bearish, then that's a development of a candle formation. I would then take the trade with the idea that once it flips bearish, it will continue bearish with a huge extension, anticipating a pullback, even if for a continuation, it can be managed. Okay, simple market, a uh, simple price action and behavioral trade in here. I still like in the gold idea for sales on the break of this low, not yet, but not yet. Just I'm waiting for, to, I'm waiting to see. The new 15 minute candle opens and does exactly what I want it to do. Uh, we'll just go for a one, two, I don't want it to retrace that much. Maybe just for a one to one this morning. Let's see what happens. One minute left. I want to see the new four, uh, 15 minute candle create top wick, then flip bearish. The behavior is happening exactly how I wanted to see it happen. Huge extended 15 minute candle into a major wick rejection area that we've previously seen price react from. Um, now I just want to see the 15 minute create the top wick and place my sell stop. Sell stop in place. Not yet triggered. And now all I'm doing here with this idea is anticipating the next 15 minute candle to go bearish. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Closed out guys. Closed out. Job done.
job done job done if you're in this trade you can hold this for longer if you want i personally came in with that with plan to hit my one hour target that's exactly what i've done and that is that is job done okay 